Hi. I am Jennifer Fulton, the Inquiring Quilter, and welcome to my box opening video. Um, I am getting to the point where popping up like that is getting harder and harder, so I really hope you appreciate that. <laughs> um, as I said, I am the Inquiring Quilter, and I am a pattern designer. I'm also a lover of color and batiks, which is why we're here. I am an Island Batik Ambassador, and all of the ambassadors, uh, twice a year, receive several boxes, not just one, but several boxes of batiks and other items from our program partners. And then we film a box opening video so we can share that stuff with you. So that's what this video is for. And I'm going to ask you if you can please uh, like my video. That helps. Also make a comment. That helps too. So I really appreciate your love. Thank you. Okay, let's begin. Um, we're going to try to do some different things this time to spark it up, so we'll see how this goes. My daughter is filming this, and she's also going to surprise me with stuff, so, <laughs> so you'll get to see my natural reaction <laughs> to having things thrown at me. <laughs> anyway, uh, go ahead and start. <laughs> I was going to say batter up, but that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oh, hey, before we get started, she's about to present me with something. Um, these quilts behind me, I have designed. I made them as part of our Island Batik Ambassador Monthly Challenges. Some of them have patterns, some do not just yet, but I hope you will uh, go by my blog and, and uh, take a look at uh, the posts about each of these quilts. And also, if you're interested, visit my shop. Uh, you'll find a link to my blog in the description for this video. And my clever assistant is taking her time going through the things to decide what to throw at me first. <laughs> it took me a second to choose. It did. Okay. Let's see what she's going to give me. I can't wait. Put it in the magic hat. It is in the magic hat. Ooh, I can't wait to see what's in the magic hat, can you? <laughs> Thank you, clever assistant. You're very welcome. Uh, let's see what is in the magic hat. Well, actually two very magical things. These are called stash builders. And uh, as you can see, they are mostly purples and mostly greens. Um, in each stash builder, you get approximately almost three yards of Batiks. They are cut five inches wide. Each stash builder roll has four, four strips, I think, four or five strips, uh, uh, five by width of fabric. Um, and so when you get one of these stash builders, you are building your stash. It is just a collection, a very scrappy collection of uh, batiks, uh, typically sorted by color, as you can see. So you can pick up a couple of them and then make a quilt. Uh, or just add them to your stash, which is what I typically do. Um, sometimes I also give these away for uh, blog hops and other events happening on my blog. So again, be sure to visit my blog and follow me if you like. Now let's see what she's going to give us next, <laughs> my pretty assistant. Very well, madam. I have prepared for you a very mysterious <coughs> bundle. <coughs> Hey, my dear, she has prepared for me a very mysterious bundle. Let's take a look. Ah, okay. Uh, this is sealed. Normally it's, it's not, but um, this is the spring 2021 collection that I'll be featuring in the August blog hop. Um, my collection is called uh, Midnight Dazzle, and as you can see, it is uh, purple. Purple, by the way, is my favorite color. It's lots of purples, deep uh, red violets, um, blues, and then there are a couple of coordinates. Let me go ahead and see if I can open this. Obviously, somebody who planned the video would have probably um, opened this beforehand, but I forgot, so I'm sorry oh, about that. Perhaps I'm simply a very bad butler. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's great. Um, 
Let's see, it looks like maybe they've sent me fat quarter bundles. So a lot of times they send me half yards, but this time they sent me two fat quarter bundles. So I'll just hold one out so you can see. There, I'm holding close. Oh, perhaps that's too close. There. Um, it's got, again, Midnight Dazzle. It's got blues and, and a little bit of green, some red violets, um, just gorgeous purples really lovely collection and they sent me two coordinates a light and a dark from the collection um oh no these are not from the collection these are uh this is called opal this is called opal and uh it is from the basics collection so that means it's something that is available year round at your uh, local quilt store that carries island boutiques and this is called uh BE21-A1 uh, Cheerio Iris. Uh, it is a, um, a blender, which again is uh, another one of those collections that um, a quilt store can get in and keep in. It is available year round. So they picked both of these to go with Midnight Dazzle, which again I'll be using in a quilt um, in August. Um, and all of the Island Boutique Ambassadors will be um, presenting the Spring 21 collection. So I know that may be confusing why Spring 21 in August. Well, the Spring and Summer collections were presented to quilt stores at the Spring Quilt Market, which is why they're called the Spring and Summer collections. But they actually start arriving in stores, the Spring collections, the ones they saw it in the Spring Market, uh, start arriving in stores around about now-ish. So in August, um, you'll be seeing a uh, lovely um, presentation of all of the latest batiks arriving in stores then. Um, there'll be another blog hop in November, which will feature the summer collections, and uh, those, because that's when they start arriving in uh, quilt stores. So I wonder what my lovely assistant is going to tell, show me next. Oh, it, it really is magical. Woo! I feel like um, Cinderella. Are you going to like... You have to magically tap this pillow and say the magic words, which are, I want the next item, please. <laughs> <laughs> I love island boutiques and I want the next item, please. <gasps> wow! <laughs> As if by magic it has appeared on the pillow. They gave me six yards of what they call a neutral. Uh, this specific one is called Donut. Um, hopefully you can see it pretty well there. We're gonna put some photos in too so you can see. I have used this before as a neutral in my quilts. Um, it's very warm. Uh, it has just a little bit of a slight dotted swirl design on it, which is really nice. Again, this is part of the Neutrals collection, so earlier we got to see um, Opal, which is part of the uh, Basics collection, and we got to see uh, this lovely purple, which is part of the Blenders collection, and this is Donut, and it is part of the Neutrals collection, and these three collections are ones that a quilt store can order year-round, so you'll be able to find them at a quilt store near you that carries Island Batik. So I wonder what my next surprise is going to be from the box. I can't wait to see. How about you? Ah! <laughs> well, <laughs> hello surprise. They just appear out of nowhere. Um, this is a bundle of solids. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you know that Island Batik makes uh, batik solids and we can use these uh, however we want in our quilts. I tend to use them as the background for quilts to make them more modern. Um, this is a black solid, this is a white solid, and then they have a nice gray. They have other colors of solids as well, um, but they traditionally send us these three colors because they're really good to use as backgrounds. Um, I'm going to guess that they've got at least two or three yards here of each color. Uh, I've got a quilt back here that I've used um, uh, black in as, a, as part of a modern quilt blog hop. So 
uh, if you'd like to see again, just visit my blog and you'll be able to see the quilts where I've used that. And hopefully you'll like it. I, I like how the colors of batiks really pop against the solids. So, I wonder what the next thing is going to be. Okay, this one came with a letter, so I figured I had to deliver it by hand. Oh, and this is the girl behind all the magic. This is my daughter, Katerina, who did not want to appear on camera, but I've made her. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm going to keep her. <laughs> all right, let's see what came with the letter. It is a letter from Deb Tucker of Studio 180 Design. Um, they sent me the rapid fire of Hunter Star, and the Petite Star. Um, it makes Hunter Star blocks five, six, seven, and eight inch uh, in a very quick way. Her rulers uh, allow you to not only make blocks quickly, but also trim them up to the exact size really easily. She also included, according to the letter, um, a book called Hidden Treasures as kind of an inspiration for whatever it is I decide to come up with. Um, Hid Hidden Treasures is a book with a treasure trove of designs for Hunter Star. So as you can see, here's, here's one design and then they've got lots of others inside. So um, I can look through this and not only get instructions, but also um, get inspiration for coming up with my own unique design using a hunter star block. So thank you very much, Deb Tucker. Uh, the Tucker, uh, Deb Tucker and Studio 180 Design is one of our program partners. So they um, send us stuff along with batiks and, um, and this is the first of the program partners. Um, I'll be using this tool in the blog hop in August uh, when I create a design using uh, the uh, Midnight Dazzle Batik Bundle. Okay, I wonder what's coming next. Oh my gosh, you know, she's come from here, she's come from there, I don't know where she's gonna... What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Let's go fishing, folks! <laughs> Oh, this reminds me of a summer fair where you go to the <laughs> fish pond and you put the little thing in and then they give you something. Ah, okay, Orophil is also a program partner and um, they have sent us the Red Panda Collar Bundle. Uh, it's 40 weight thread. Um, I don't know, uh, I work at a quilt store as well as being a pattern designer and running my business. Um, and I'm in charge of the block of the month programs and we're running the color builder program here at the store and in both 40 weight and 50 weight. Uh, 50 weight was actually last year's program but we're doing both this year because we hadn't done it before and um, the 40 weight program is being inspired by um, endangered animals and this was the February uh, color bundle and it was inspired by the red panda each color bundle has a light, medium, and dark in the colors of that month. So I've received a light, medium, and dark 40 weight spool um, in shades of red inspired by um, the red panda. And what's really cool about this uh, color bundle um, block of the month program is not only do you get the box, you also get uh, free patterns and uh, information about the, um, the animal that inspired the color bundle. And they have partnered, uh, Orphil has partnered with um, a group that you can make donations to and they have a unique way of, of trying to save these animals. So it's kind of cool. The uh, 50 weight program, which was last year's, um, was inspired by uh, cities in Italy. So, you know, you could, uh, the, I got a 50 weight uh, color bundle that was uh, r inspired by red, but it was a cities of a, uh, it was a particular Italian city. Anyway, so yay, I, and this is probably for the, um, we have a, a thread painting challenge coming up uh, in this uh, latter half of the year, so that's probably why I got this color coordinated uh, bundle of thread. Thank you, Orpha. 
<laughs> Let's see, I've had a letter delivered. I've had a fish. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> To unlock this next item, you must say something nice about your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Well, she's beautiful, she's smart, and she's very funny, and she's the best videographer <laughs> I have in my family. Um, <laughs> hey. Wait. Uh. Oh, no, I can't actually say that because my brother is uh, a professional oh, photographer. <laughs> Whoops. But you are the nicest one in my immediate you family. And, and your brother. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry, Mike. Uh, but I, I love no one you so else. Does no one else video. is upset by this. Too. Oh, okay. So my husband is also upset because he likes to video videography. Uh, he likes to videography. I'm an videographer. I feel like this is payment enough for your challenge to be issued. Thank you. Uh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Thank you very Bye -bye. much. Bye. Uh, so much for compliments. Uh, okay, so this is from another program partner, this time uh, by Annie. And I, if you've been following me, then last year you probably remember that we did uh, the Island Boutique Ambassadors were uh, challenged to make a by Annie bag. And uh, we got to choose what bag we wanted to make. And, of course, we got to keep it. Uh, this year, we also got to choose what bag we wanted to make, um, but in addition, we got to choose which fabrics we wanted to make it in. Last year was kind of a surprise. And um, anyway, so we, I selected which fabrics I wanted, and um, I can't really show you right now because they are part of the spring, oh wait, no I can't, because they're part of the spring 2021 20, collection, which I've already shown you that. Um, but anyway, I'll keep it a secret. Um, okay, they're purple. It's not hard to guess. Um, and I chose as my bag the bowl over bag, um, which is a nice little uh, smallish bag with a handle. But you can also have a longer strap on it too. And I, I wanted um, a smaller bag uh, this time. By Annie looked at the fabrics I chose and sent me all the parts I need to make this. Not just the, the pattern, but also the, the batting, because it's going to be a quilted bag. Um, the zippers, uh, there's some zipper elastic and, and the other pieces, that I, the hardware that I need to make my bag. So last year when I made my bag, um, although I'd made a bag before, I had, it had been a while since I'd made a By Annie bag. And so I broke it down into different parts and uh, showed you my progress and gave you my bag making tips. So I plan on doing that again this year. So again, be sure to follow me if you would like some tips on how to make a handbag um, using a by any pattern. So, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the next mysterious item could be. The next oh, item. I'm looking away as if I don't know where it might come from. He's extremely um, mysterious. <laughs> you are not allowed to view the next item. You are not allowed to imagine the next item. I can't imagine the next item? Well, I assume you can't because it's covered very well. <laughs> okay. Actually, I can't imagine what she's saying. Okay, there you go. It is only to be wished for and considered and the surprise for later. <laughs> <laughs> that, and that is the key word. Yes. Uh, you ready? One, two, four. Magic. Thank you, my magical assistant. This is, again, if you've seen our videos, and you know that every uh, time we do a box opening video, uh, the Island Boutique Ambassadors get sent a surprise bundle. Uh, the surprise bundle is batiks uh, and some coordinates um, that I will be using in a November blog hop. Uh, this is part of the summer uh, 2021 collection. Again, it debuted at Spring Market for quilt shop owners. They ordered it and it'll be coming into the quilt shops in November. So that's when you'll be able to see what's inside. And I have looked and I can tell you, um, you know, purple's involved. So. <laughs> And again, not a surprise. Um, and look, even, even <laughs> it was a hint all along. <laughs> um, so what's next, my dear? Now, Mother, I have to tell you something very important. Okay. The, our next presenter is sort of nervous. 
about, oh, very nervous about presenter. presenting the next oh, item. Oh, a he, very he, nervous he, presenter? Words of encouragement oh, and kindness. It's okay, nervous presenter. Oh! Yes, it's a very nervous presenter. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. You want to come out and see the pretty colors? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really good at ventriloquism too, aren't I? Yes, yay! Yay, I took that in! <laughs> um, these are Batik Foundations bundles. Uh, these coordinate with my... Um, spring collection which you already saw midnight dazzle so again it's got some green some blues and some lovely purples in it by foundations bundles they mean that they have selected from the solids i told you they they make color solids not just black white and gray um, from the uh, uh, basics which are one color type of uh, solid tone on tone type batiks and then from what they call the blenders, which are um, a printed uh, batiks. So it's a tone on tone blues or green. Um, and then this other bundle that my very best friend brought. Yay! I love <laughs> this color. This is beautiful. Um, these coordinate with my uh, summer collection that was under wraps. That was a surprise. So this is your only hint. Um, and you know, maybe purple isn't involved, because look, there's uh, two solids, an orange and a yellow, um, two blenders, kind of a bluish green yellow, and then a solid blue. And then there is a lovely uh, kind of olive color, and a very light, um, uh, this is be a neutral, uh, in kind of a light tan. So when I open that surprise bundle, I will be, I'll be the one surprised because there won't be any purple involved. Um, it'll be tan and blue and some, some pops of orange and yellow in it. Uh, again, um, watch my blog and uh, follow the blog hop uh, in November to see what I make with whatever's in that surprise bundle. Now, I think we're getting to the best part of our journey, which is... Well, Mother, you would be right, because it's time for the super batting lightning round. <laughs> it's, it's time for the super batting lightning round. I've been looking forward to this all day. <laughs> she has been looking forward to this all day. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's been looking forward to this. Um, we always get batting. Um, Hobbs batting is one of our program partners so let's see what they sent this time they sent some fusible batting strips now this is batting that's been cut two and a half inches wide it's got fusible on both sides so you can use it for projects such as uh, rugs uh, totes anything where you're working with strips that you want to have a strip of batting instead of um, a, a solid batting that you have to cut yourself so that's one here comes the next one <laughs> I really am a little scared. Uh, this one is, uh, oh, this is one of my favorite bats. It's uh, Hobbs uh, 8020. It is made with 80% um, cotton and 20% polyester. So it's got a light um, fluffiness to it that is give, that the polyester gives it, but it's also got a lovely drape and durability, durability and that's the cotton. Um, really, it, it quilts up like a dream and it it just I just it's one of my favorite bats. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> this is a Thermore bat and it looks like they gave me queen size. Um Thermore is super super light. Uh you could use it in a quilted clothing. You could use it in uh light um wall hangings. If you used it in a quilt, it would be super, super light and drapeable. So uh, if you were looking for like a summer type quilt, you might make it out of Thermore. So I really look forward to experimenting with a larger size. They've sent smaller ones before, but um, this one's larger and that'll be great. And boy, this table's getting pretty big. Oh, I'm thinking there's one more thing coming my way. <laughs> 
she is, I wish you could see her face, because she is really getting a, a big bang out of throwing things at her mother. <laughs> um, this is uh, a cotton wool blend from the Tuscany collection. If you've never used Hobbs uh, Tuscany, oh my goodness, you really need to. Um, it's so warm, but so light. And this is, let's see, this is a throw size, <laughs> throw it, um, uh, 60 by 60. So I'll be able to make a nice lap quilt out of this. And I'm looking forward to that because it's a great batting. Oh, I wonder what's coming next. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> um, this is a cotton um, fusible. So by using this, um, I can avoid having to pin base my quilts, which is super nice. So this, yes, this is another favorite uh, batting of mine. Um, it's all cotton, so um, you can uh, quilt pretty far apart if you want to, and uh, the shrinkage is, you know, nominal. Um, it's just a lovely bat. So, anything else you're going to throw? I'm kind of a little scared here. <laughs> anything else you're going to throw at me? A healthy me? fear is a good thing, Mother. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It is good to have a healthy fear. <laughs> but good. at any time your daughter might throw a roll of batting at you. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but no, you have successfully passed the super batting lightning round. <laughs> the super batting lightning round. I've passed it. And okay. also, I have two big empty boxes over here. <gasps> So it looks like I have opened up my two boxes and have gone through the entire contents. And this table, I, I know the camera isn't pointed there, but the table is completely filled with stuff. Um, and there is more stuff Ooh. coming. Um, uh, Island Batik was not able, like a lot of companies, um, you know, everything is shipping a little later. You're, there's, there's kinks in the supply chain, and it's true with Island Batik as well. Um, they're going to be sending us the pre-cuts that they normally would have sent us in this box a little bit later. So I look forward to getting yet another collection of something something uh, in another box. So there'll be three boxes. Whoa! Um, so I'm excited by all of that. And I hope you were too. I hope you enjoyed the goofiness. I just wanted to kind of change it up and, and do something different this time. So, I'll say goodbye. Uh, again, be sure to follow me. Uh, the link is in the description there. A comment on the, on the video if you can, and like it if you felt like it, because that helps a lot. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, bye! See you.